You are cultured swine. But 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 Voice crack? Oh, fuck off. I already <laughs> got busted on a voice crack. <laughs> I find those kind of... How, how, how Some long people can you... do. Some people find them repetitive. How, how long can you voice crack? Not like one person, but like how long can you keep the voice cracks going? Nothing against Kenny. It's just like... What? It's, it's it's more or less like, you know, it's it's like a thing. Like somebody does. Like, yeah. like a specific series. How long can you keep a series going? So even you find it kind of boring, and you know maybe a good portion of people find it like, uh. I think I think honestly it can keep going till people stop liking the video. But the thing is, it's just like if you get one or two likes, you're still gonna do it because you want to make those one or two people happy. Yeah, well that that's the thing, right? People, I mean, I I find that some people are, but I mean, I find the people that are getting sick of the voice cracks in a way are uh, people who. Uh, probably have seen all 60 <laughs> you know what i mean i think i've seen 50 40 yeah see i i've actually watched all 60 and i i still think they're entertaining and but i mean i i don't know it's 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 a gimmick right it's yeah it's the same it's it's kind of like i think that's probably why uh wrestling died for me it was a gimmick like after a certain point it's the uh it was the same it was the same story, just redone with new people. Right. I don't know. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, you got to go check out uh, youtube.com forward slash Kenny side. And uh, man, check out his voice crack videos here. His why you no hit puberty yet. Because cause they're, they're still entertaining to me. <laughs> they vary for some others. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. I mean... Uh, I don't know. I, is that is that even just that? I'm just saying, like, I guess it's gimmicks in general. When do the gimmicks end up? Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, he's he's 60 vids into it. Yeah. Like, that's some dedication right there, too, though, eh? Me, personally, I don't think I could make anything go 60 videos long without having you, to change it myself. Yeah, you probably would have had a couple. You would have had a whole 100-plus series if you cut up those all or nothings. Actually, yeah, if I would have done the like, Johnny it, Don't Kill Cam from the beginning. But even even now, like, I think this week... No, 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 I'm, I'm just talking about the Rota Commander itself. If I would have cut those up and just put the wins in? No, not even the wins. A, it, a Rota Commander doesn't involve the, you involve the whole thing. Well, but yeah, instead no, of having I, mean, I, being, I didn't want to do... I. I <laughs> He's like, I don't want to even, I, I suffer I, yeah. I don't want to suffer through the editing. Well, not not just that. The road to Commander uh, uh, sucked. Because, I mean, you played all or nothing. You know the way it is. All of a sudden, connection hits and you do well. well and yeah. the rest of the time, you don't. Yeah. And it's a game type, at least right now, that's very much not dependent on skill. <laughs> at Unless all. you can shoot. I, you know, what's funny too is, I mean, I, I started, everybody knows I started playing it cause I was watching the, the FSU videos and it seemed like fun and I never intended on making montages or anything like that. I just started playing it and I know I even tried shooting a couple of times and, and knifing was faster. So I just stuck with knifing and then I got branded a knifer and then I tried to run with it and now I hate knifers. Most of them, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> I don't that, know. How do you legal? feel? Is that legal? Can you do that? Um, as long as we give a shout out to the Inside Eddie show, because that's where that comes from. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Haven't we done that on every podcast? Either stole something or shit on somebody. It's out, usually out just. It's usually just fans, Eddie. Right? It's usually just Eddie. 
Nobody I know else. there was the one episode where I think we came on. What's up, Bounders? <laughs> no, no, no. But you know what? We should. Okay. <clears throat> What's up, Bounders? <laughs> that, that's all this I got. This is Johnny White Trash. <laughs> Host of Digital Boundaries. <laughs> well, I was going to say I'm but okay. <laughs> I'm not the host. I'm the producer. Okay. Sounds producer. more important. <laughs> well, because I'm curious and play Call of Duty and I'm a douche, I just found this out right now. What's that? Leaked information for next week's DLC of uh, all these uh, packs and whatnot, right? Yeah. So besides the one, two, three, four, five, six different camo packs. Naturally, we need more camos. Because yeah. that'll and, fix everything. And the soap uh, customization pack. Oh, the soap customization pack. Holy shit. There's the classic ghost, you know, individual skin and the squad skin. But the two that interest me, actually. First ever voice packs. Voice pack. You know. A Snoop Dogg voice pack. Oh, God. I fucking and, hate Snoop Dogg. <laughs> and. Wait, 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 wait. Are you going to, like, kill somebody and say, for shizzle my nizzle? <laughs> I don't even know if the voice because pack... I... I don't even know if the voice pack's for, like, the individual character. Because if that were the case, I'd run around as a chick going, like, yeah, dog. No, man, I don't know. I, I... <laughs> The Snoop Dogg thing would be kind of funny. But uh, any talk about when they're bringing all or nothing to ghosts? Because that would be fun. Uh I mean, it doesn't matter. I play on the Xbox One with, like, nobody else, so. Yeah. Yeah, you do. I mean, like, playing on the Xbox One, if you're looking for a multiplayer machine, is sad. The other guy, I can never remember his name for the other voice pack. I apologize. I can never remember his name. But you'll probably remember the movie Full Metal Jacket? Yes. Remember the beginning, the dude that was getting bullied, the, his instructor? That yeah, dude's in, like, everything. He's always the yeller. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, he's the other voice back. house is dad. Yeah. Yeah, he, he's, he's the voice back. He's the yeah. other voice back. Okay, that, that's cool. <laughs> but, you know, at the same time, like, I get why they're doing it. You know what I mean? Oh, here we go. The voice, because... the, the, the voice packs will change the one that narrates the multiplayer. So like, oh. it, it, it's 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 the ones that that go like, go get him. Yeah, uh, we're losing the shit, go squads. We're losing the fight. It would be funny if the if Snoop Dogg's like, you were losing B dog. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we're losing B. Go cap his ass. <laughs> <laughs> like I I do kind of like that there are. Well, do you I remember back in the day where they would put stuff out like this? And you would have to play the game to unlock it. Oh, yeah. Uh, and now, you know, nobody wants to play the game. I mean, like when I used to play a lot of Tony Hawk, you had to beat the game. Sometimes you unlock new songs, but uh, you had to beat the game like three or four times with different characters just to unlock a new character. You know what I want? And you know what I need? I need at least one video on my channel of the, the Doom Guy Tony Hawk character. Skateboarding. There was a Doom guy? Uh, yeah, the PC version of, I think, Tony Hawk 1. Oh, that was probably modded. No, no, no. They, they actually did. Seriously? Let me, let me look this up. I've, yeah, I, I've Googled it. I've never heard of Well, I only played on the PlayStation. Yeah, well, uh, that was what I mostly did, too. In fact, I, I didn't start playing Tony Hawk till 2. Yeah, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. I played it with one. I played it in one. Wow, okay, yeah, he is in here. Yeah. Oh, no, this one's, this one's a modded one. This is for Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3. I know it's in there, though. I've looked it up. It was it was some kind of promo thing. Maybe it was Tony Hawk 3. I can't it was, it was It was Tony Hawk 3 in the PC version. Yeah. But, like, I also, I thought that, well... I thought there'd be a re-release. I thought there'd be a source port. I thought there'd be something. You couldn't find anything? Uh, other than the actual game. But, I mean, it was built for, what, Windows 95? I 
think so. You know what I mean? Like, I find a certain age of games, you need some kind of source port. Speaking of source ports, speaking of retro gaming, <laughs> we got to fly right into it. But first, I think we got to admit, we got to talk about, we got to address the fact that this episode is called, go for it. I'm going to fuck it up. Uncultured Swine 5, Live Free or Swine Hard. And you know what we're doing for that? We ain't going to commercial, bitch. We're just going to fucking go. Because, well, to be honest, we thought that, <clears throat> I thought that, you know, because we have, we have cool conversations during uh, Smoke Break, too. And I really thought that I was going to put out the effort to uh, make those separate videos, and I have not yet. <laughs> and we're like damn near two months in, and I still haven't done it. And... Uh, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> so I'm thinking we might as well just go straight through. But, okay, recently I inherited from uh, my wife's aunt a Nintendo 64, I think about 20 games, and about another 20 games uh, for Super Nintendo. And, Okay, my my wife hates first person shooters because they make her sick, right? Yeah, my friend can't stand them either. Yeah, well, then all of a sudden she's like, "Oh, we got Golden Eye." I'm like, "Yeah, but <laughs> it's, first it's, person shooters I, make you sick." I guess the thing is though, the old ones you didn't move that fast, especially on the consoles. Well, I think that must be part of it because, like, she's like, "Yeah, I hated Doom," and I'm like, "Yeah, Doom moved fast. Doom, you moved a lot faster." Yeah. But like the console games, yeah, you could even bring up Duck Hunt for the yeah, NES. Mm-hmm. That one, you, it was still shot. You you bring up like the I guess the uncontrollable ones like House of the Dead, where it was const it, like it moved for you. No, yeah, yeah, and you just had the gun and you shot. Yeah, I mean you don't have to worry about moving yourself. You were just the yeah. shooter. That well, one, Golden Ice moved slow, or it was. You know, it's a decent pace. And the thing is, Doom changed a lot of colors for what I see for you. Yeah, that was the other thing, too. I mean, I'm playing Brutal Doom. It's it's a little different, like, but... Like Doom was pretty... Like, just Doom, the original Doom itself, seemed very vibrant. Well, if you look at GoldenEye... Which is it's... funny. <laughs> Back in the day, it seemed vibrant. There, there's games that glow a bit more now. But, well, like, it, yeah. It, it was, though. Like, I mean, like, Wolfenstein, right was in theory it, it was pretty drab you know what i mean for what it was it was good at the time but the one thing they did with doom was they made like you say more colors <coughs> which is kind of how they tried to fix call of duty they're like yeah we need more colors no but um and, but let's not bring up colors. no no but the thing about golden eye it was you think about it, it was gray for the most part. <laughs> it, I find like it was colorful too. It was colorful, but it was like colorful. See it, it, the thing with Goldeneye, and I think the reason I never did like it, because no matter what game I'm playing, I don't like split screen. Ah. Uh... And like me and the wife, we even threw Goldeneye on last night because I'm like, you know, I'm like, honey, I'm gonna figure out how to record this motherfucker, and we got to do dual live comms because yeah, all of a sudden Elgato, my right? wife earns geek cred, right? You're the Elgato, right? Yeah. You have your PlayStation. Uh, you, you you have those PlayStation cords. Yeah, but this is an N64. I know, but just pl- f- find the corresponding ones. It'll still it'll still go through. I can go a I can go AV to component. It, it it'll look fuzzy because it's not like getting its full direct access, but it's an N64. It's gonna look fuzzy to begin with. Well, now here's what I want to do, <laughs> and uh, I think I want to convert. The time you... I want to convert the N64 to HD. <laughs> well, yes. Oh my god. <laughs> well, no. There, there's a kid who's like releasing a, a, a kit to do it. I mean, I'm fine with like an AV to. Eat, I'm telling like you, a... yeah. You should just just force it. My, you know what's what's stupid. The only reason I know it works is. Uh, I went to my aunt's house, and I'm like, "Why does it look kind of funky?" And they were, and uh, 
they were playing the uh I was playing the PS3 but this is before the PS3 had the uh had the what are those called the the red component the, no, no, no! I'm talking about the oh, the or, the the HD ones, the orange, the green, and the blue. What they call component. Yeah, that that's called component, and then the um, uh, red, white, and yellow are called AV or RCA. Yeah, I just didn't know what the other ones were called component because I've never really used. I've I've always used HDMI. It was either the only reason I even started using component was my last uh, PlayStation. You had to. Well, no, my HD capture. Uh, my Aver Media was component, eh? Hey? Uh huh. So that's when I started, you know, doing that. Mm. But the only reason I know it, it works is um, I went over there. I was trying to figure out why their PlayStation looked fuzzy. I'm like, you're not using. I'm like, you're not using the uh, the correct ones. You're not using them in the correct slot. They were actually using the the, the standard AVs in the component slots. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And but then immediately after I found that out, I'm like. Can I get ten dollars? And they're like, "Why?" I'm like, "Just give me ten dollars in the car." So I went to Walmart and got them an HDMI cord. I'm like, "There you go." Yeah. <laughs> well, my mom, we hooked up her cable box, right? And she still ran a cable cord into her TV and told me she didn't see the difference for on the high def channels. And I said, "Mom," <laughs> and I. Well, you know, my mom said I, that too. I, what? <laughs> my mom did that too. I and, I, and I grabbed her an HDMI cord, and then I put on a hockey game, and she's like, oh. <laughs> it was around when Heroes came out, for me, 2007, Yeah, I think, All right? Uh, I was watching it, and we, we used to have uh, Zurich TV, so we used to have the standard channels, and then the HD channels. So I used, yeah, to, always, I used to always record it. The show in HD, if I was going to miss it, or just to record it, because I usually watched it like five times throughout that week before the next episode. Yeah. And then one time, like, I, I, I think I was out. I think I had football, so I told my mom, just like, record it. And then she recorded in standard. I'm like, yeah, it looks crappy. Yeah, I know. She, she's like, I don't see the difference. I'm like, okay. I played a previous episode. I'm like, look at yours. Now look at mine. Like, wow, there's so much more. <laughs> well, I remember even when I got my PS3, hooked it up with HDMI, and put in a Blu-ray, and like everybody who came over, like my family, I had to show them like the beginning of Dark Knight, where the <laughs> glass breaks, and I'm like, look, you can see little pieces of glass fly fly through the air, <laughs> even though it's uh, CGI. <laughs> it's funny too. Like I mean, you think about the it, little like, things. It's just the Hobbit. Well, when I got the Hobbit. <laughs> Well, the I, mean, I was, I was, uh, you know, I, I grew up in VCR age. So did I, but you yeah. literally like m- mine's was a transition between. Well, I, well, I'll rephrase. I grew up in the dawn when mom went to the movie store, she would come home with a couple of movies and a little green suitcase because we didn't own a VCR. We had to rent one. Mm-hmm. And then we bought a VCR, and holy fuck, man, I was the coolest kid on my block. Yeah, then you had to go out and get the re- the recordable ones. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, you you're know, like, you could fit like, more like, shows <laughs> on, a, on a tape if you pick the LP button. You want to come over? I got the new I, – I just uh, – I recorded yesterday's Married with Children. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and then programming the VCR and <laughs> – but with like, this N64, right? I mean, like, if my wife is going to geek out on a first-person shooter, we got to do videos, I told her. Yeah. And so we were doing, like, a practice round last night. Ooh. <laughs> I I, uh, I had to figure out how to turn invert off. <laughs> oh. I, I figured out how to and all that. It takes a and, little bit because you have to go to the main, main menu, if I remember correctly. Well, you got to go into single player to turn it off. That uh, that's what it was. I remember, I I that game got me used to invert, and I hate invert. I I hate invert. Well, and then I had to, you know, because it says here's your controller schemes, but it doesn't show you what any of it is. No, it just it's here, here's the buttons. <laughs> yeah. So it's like yeah, you can pick this controller scheme. Okay. So I had to go online and look it up. But anyway, here's where the excitement came in because I. 
I was uh, searching because I knew the Retron 5 was supposed to be well, out already, right? And uh, you know what that is, right? I'm assuming it's a converter. No, no, it's it's a all-in-one box. Oh, okay, yo, okay. Yeah, yeah, it plays Nintendo, Super Nintendo. It, d- it depends which one because there's a bunch of different variant Retron consoles. Right, this is the newest one that has HDMI out. Ooh. And I can record. Plays... I, I can see all the eight bit. Yes. <laughs> well, and then I'm sitting there going like the other problem that I had playing this game was to me when something is supposed to be in four by three, it should be in four by three. What happened? It ended up being trying to force itself. Into it it stretched to the whole screen, and I'm like, that doesn't look right. It needs to be four by three. I think you got to adjust your TV like input. Oh yeah, you got to do it on the TV. Yeah, but. Like, I mean, it, it's why the Doom videos have the little thing on the side, the fuzzy thing. Yeah. Because it's like, no, it Doom to me, even though you could play it in 16 by 9, it doesn't look right. I'll tell you which game I actually didn't, I didn't mind in 16 by 9. It was, uh, I was at my friend's house and we were playing four, four player split screen, uh, Mario Kart. Once you get it, yeah. Actually, you know the one option I want to find? Because I would rather have my split screen side by side instead of stacked. You know what I mean? When when you're when you have four people, it's like no problems. Oh, I, yeah, I, I, have I, four I, people, it I get matter. I get I get what you're saying. But I don't know, I think stacked well, and then I'm talking to the wife, I'm like, honey, the, the golden eye source exists. Like you could play that on your laptop. Oh hell, not even just that. You know, golden like you could you could play the fucking if you uh, really want to go into it, you could be like, you know, golden eye was released for the Xbox three sixty. Was it really? Yeah, it was re released for the three sixty. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me that. I'll end up having to get a second three sixty. It was re released uh, two years ago. They, they they took out Pierce Brosnan and added uh, Daniel Craig. Oh fuck! But anyway, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so it technically so it is an HD. Up this Retron Five. The one thing it didn't have, like it doesn't play Nintendo sixty four games. Hey, eh? it plays like everything else, and it and it's a cartridge system. Like you have to have the cartridges, right? I mean, it's got an Android operating system. You can hack it to play ROMs, and. Um, you can also get those, uh, what are they? You know, you know, when like you send away and you like, you got a ROM and you can get somebody to flash it onto a cartridge homebrew or whatever. I think they're so. saying those should work too, but, um, they're talking about N64 support for the Retron five. If it's going to be a, uh, I mean, I think they have to wait for a patent to expire or some shit. But that that's gonna be cool. I'm happy with that as a as a retro gamer. You can plug it in with HDMI, and I don't I don't know that makes it simpler to me. I like it. It's only 720p, but can you hear me now? Yeah. Can like, you hear like, me? Can you hear me? I can hear you now. Okay. What the hell happened? I don't know. I couldn't hear you, and you couldn't hear me. It this is like... the type of shit we would edit out if we weren't living free and swining hard. I mean, we, we could, I think, cut that out. Fuck it. It's just like, I'm sitting here just like, huh? Yeah. I don't I'm like, know I, what I, I was talking about. I, anyway, okay. I, I wanted to talk about the Retron 5, damn it. You were on the Retron 5. Uh-huh. You're trying to figure out how to make your N64 HDMI. Well, no, no. The, it, it's supposed to have that uh, N64 support coming out. Also... They're working on another one. They're basically, they're working on a DOS box. Hmm. For like, you know, your old DOS computer games that don't work on anything. I mean, it's funny. They're literally building old computers is what they're doing. Yeah, they're pretty much building old computers. Just re- but I, I like the idea of it. I like the aspect of it. Because, I mean, there there's a lot of old games that just don't work on modern systems. Like, I, I mean, you can get the... DOS box app and shit like that, but I can't record the DOS box app. <laughs> but no, I, I just I think it's cool all the shit they're coming out. What I forget what the company's called, but yeah. And and the Retron 5 is a hundred bucks. 
Uh oh. What? <gasps> I'm sorry. I just it's very this right here. What song is this? The rest of us there can't we, hear it. I I no next week's DLC for Rocksmith is Rage against the machine. The machine. Oh, 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 tell me it's killing in the name of. I don't know. I can't figure. I have to. How's the song go? I don't. I can only see the notes. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to. This is what I do. I don't even know like the tempo. So I have to just. I have to assume. Put a link in the description. I know a couple. Well, I knew a couple Rage songs. <laughs> well. Uh... <laughs> knowing a rage song doesn't mean it looks weird when you're like I know the song but then you see the tabs and you're like huh it's weird it's in Spanish too <laughs> oh yeah that doesn't help me don't start playing guitar now. why is it in Spanish I don't know the guy just sent it to me in the link I'm like he's like oh we got preview for next week's DLC don't be mad I'm like look Link it. <laughs> yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I... <laughs> it, I just... All I want is Guerrilla Radio. No. I want Killing in the Name of, and I want it flawless. I, I, too bad I don't have the money for it, but I... <laughs> <laughs> dog come... Even Call of Duty just tweeted out, Dog coming out. Snoop Dogg has been lending his voice to Call of Duty Ghosts. Yeah. Check out Snoop in action at Infinity Ward. I'll check it out later. I don't know. I mean, like, I bought the space let's go, camo let's gonna, just to be an asshole, just to like. What's gonna end up being is I'm gonna end up getting it because in the bottom, in in, in the corner somewhere, there's gonna be that stupid exclamation point that'll tell me something's new. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I can't get rid of it. I think mine's is still there, and I own everything. That's crazy. Yeah. That's all you got to do to get me is tell me that it's new and annoy yeah. me. Well, I got um, – like I bought a bit of the Black Ops 2 stuff, right? And then all I played was Sticks and Stones making all the camels useless. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> but, dude, Black Ops 2 is so fucking broken. Like, like Modern Warfare 3 I think plays better. Except for All or Nothing, because All or Nothing is... I mean, you've got 200 people in the whole wide world playing it. You don't get host, it thing. sucks. Here's the odd thing. Black Ops 2, I guess, st standard yeah. uh, multiplayer is broken. But if you go into league play, it's probably the smoothest thing I've ever well, played. Well, and I remember that was the way it was back in the day, too. Like, I used to play league play just because it ran smoother, and knifing worked. Yeah, I mean, it was harder well, to get knife was, kills uh, because you were going against yeah, tryhards, everybody, but... Everybody in there is, like, super stupid. Yeah, but... Pay attention. Um, the other thing. The other thing I have. I mean, I, I'm... Oh, in this laundry basket full of games I got, there were some Super Nintendo games, which I already have a system that will play because I got that a, a little... Oh, I've got a retro system. But yeah. Mortal Kombat 1 and 3 were in there. Oh, wait, 3 or 3 Ultimate? Uh, I think it was just 3. Uh, the Ultimate was my favorite because that was the one with everybody. That, that was cool. But the other thing, the other thing that's in there, and I think this is just cool, there is a Super Game Boy cartridge. Yeah, no for way. playing your Game Boy games on the Super Nintendo. <laughs> oh, and my dude, God. Dude, dude. There's like the a only console that did that game genie. Oh, like a built-in game like genie? the game genie that you would like put your cartridge in and into the game genie and put the game genie into the machine. Uh, yeah, like, like dude, <laughs> you're like, oh my god, I feel so yeah, young. Again. Cheat codes used to cost money, motherfucker. <laughs> cheat code, yeah, cheat codes used to be. I need to spend. Fifty bucks in the I mean, genie. Other than up, and then, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. A, B, well, if they were built in, start, yeah. If you're playing two player, but cheat, 
for Chico just to be fifty bucks for the game, Genie. Yep. And then on top of that, you needed the game. Yep. Then you need to go out and buy the magazine. With oh, the game yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, there there and was no hope. website and back then. If you got stuck on a part, you had to go buy the fucking magazine, the walkthrough magazine. One. Not just that. I, I think it was just called. These game didn't sheets. have save states, right? No. So not not a lot of games had get, had uh, save states. I hated the N sixty four. Some of them did, and some of them didn't. Some sometimes you needed that memory card. Yeah, that did Super magical, Nintendo like have, six yeah, megabyte. Super Nintendo <laughs> have memory cards? I can't remember. No, Super Nintendo didn't, but it, some of them did have built-in safe states. Yeah. Oh, Nintendo, I, I know, um, you would get the passwords. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you would get the passwords, but and and there was no way to share them. I mean. Online wasn't really viable, so you not all you didn't really know what they were. No, 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 exactly. Like you would, uh, I remember renting games, flipping through the book, and somebody had penciled in a password. <laughs> <laughs> Back when you know what it, it. That's why the books, the old booklets, used to be super well, thick. Not just that, but you. Well, yeah, they had notes sections but not just that but like yeah the, 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 there was like 15 pages of just blank notes it's just like notes and i'm like i never needed this and then i'm like hey i'm gonna have to yeah. need this well the thing is with back in the day too is you needed the book because they didn't have in-game tutorials really so well, i mean you had to read the book to figure out what did what <laughs> which never happened right away you always played for like an hour or two and you're like damn it what do yeah. i do Oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> or I remember Xeroxed move lists uh, for the Mortal Kombat series. Xerox, like photocopied. Seriously? Yeah, somebody would write down all the moves, and they would go to school, and they would, uh, you know, I think if you gave the like, oh like no, a quarter, I used she would make you ten copies. I used to do that. I used to do yeah. that. I was the one that used to do that. I would always sit there. I'm like, all right, this character, up left, nothing. Up right, yeah. <laughs> nothing. Up down, nothing. Left, right, up, nothing. But it was like, A, no, up, down, B, no, up, down, A, yeah. no, up, down, both. And then you'd be like, <laughs> oh, up, down, A does this. And it's like, oh, no, you can do it with just up, down. And then eventually it gets to the point where you're just like, left, left, hold yeah. A. <laughs> left, left, hold <laughs> And you know what? I think I still like Mortal Kombat better. I don't. I don't like Killer Instinct as much. I think uh, the thing I liked about Mortal Kombat was the moves are a little more straightforward. It's like here's your list of moves. Oh, even the remake, of the one for the one that came out two yeah, years it ago, it had a move list right in the fucking game. Not only not only did I have a built-in move list, it was the exact same simplistic move list from the first yeah. one. Oh, exactly. Like, if you've been playing with Scorpion the whole time. You didn't forget. Yeah, you can just hop in and play with Scorpion. You know, the ball was. The one I did forget is Reptile. Reptile, exactly. Like, it. I'm. There's supposed to be a new Mortal Kombat coming out, and I'm so excited about it. Is is, is it? Um, Yeah, Keith Sutherland apparently let slip that he did some voice acting for the new Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat, I guess, 10? That's what it would be. Mind you, there's a bunch of little side games in there. I think there's like 20 different fucking Mortal Kombat games. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, there's a bunch of Mortal Kombat's yeah. out. But, um... What was the other... Okay, going a little off topic, going with more of the newer games, because, you know, I pre-ordered that Wolfenstein doll. Hey. <laughs> <coughs> Well, Bethesda, and I've got a vlog coming out. <gasps> you got it right. Yeah, I've been practicing like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at work just like driving. Bethesda. 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, um, actually, no, I stopped trying to say it and just said it once. And I'm like, oh. Oh, I get it now. Yeah, But anyway, no. So they've. Uh, released for pre-order their special edition of the new Wolfenstein game with all the extra, like, uh, you know, patches and 
documents and metal case and uh, you know your collector's edition right and it's it's a hundred yeah. bucks but here's the thing it doesn't come with the game like what? you you know they're selling the game right so they're selling the game okay oh, okay so instead so- of spending 160 dollars on the game with all this shit that you may or may not need I, I guess what they're doing is, if anybody cares, yeah. here's all this mm-hmm. bonus shit. <laughs> Limited edition. I don't know if that's 5, smart 5,000 made, though. individually numbered. Um, and yeah, it's it's got a little... Okay, this one's hard. Panzerhund, I think would be how the Germans would say it. But it's a little statue. It's got some patches you can sew on stuff. <laughs> Metal case. It's got all that little weird shit. Hey? It doesn't say anything about including DLC, right? But and it's pre-order. <laughs> oh, pardon me, I got the hiccups. You th- you think it'll have DLC? Um, all depends on how successful it is. Well, Duke Nukem wasn't successful. It had DLC. Rage had DLC that came out like a year after the fucking game came out. You know what I mean? Yeah, a Bioshock, the first one. Oh, that one was successful though. But Bioshock, almost which a I don't year get between later. you and me. I liked Rage better than Bioshock. I love Bioshock. I like, and it was well, the, the thing little was, things. I though. guess what it was is Rage didn't have a story. It was just a pretty much mm-hmm. a shoot 'em up. Bioshock, if you invested, yeah, 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 yeah. just. Uh, if you invested well, in it just Rage a little bit. Well, had the worst ending ever. Oh, and Bioshock had one of the most amazing endings ever. Like, honestly, when I, the first time I beat Rage, I thought the game fucked up on me. And I went back and did it again, and I'm like, oh, that's the end of the game. It is it is supposed to happen. You know? Oh, Bioshocks was like... The graphics in itself, back when it when the first one came out, were just beyond everything yeah. well, else. Well, I just you've ever I, seen. I've only played Infinite, and oh, Infinite though that one is beautiful. <laughs> there is no other word I could describe. I remember when I first and popped I, and it I'm in. I'm sitting there going hit... like, uh, "Rage looked better, guys." What? I know the you, you like things looking kind of. Well, shit, no. Though. What I what I mean was is like. All the characters in in Battleshock had like these like dead eyes, and there was like little to no interaction. And whereas like Rage, I don't know, man. I think there. I I thought Rage was better. Uh, uh, how do I put it? Rage focused on graphics, individual characters, and all that kind of shit. What I think they lacked on was storyline, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's why Bioshock beat it in the critical pool, right? Well, the writing, I yeah. guess. Yeah. The writing but and the voice Rage acting. had John Goodman. I love John Goodman. Yeah. But... No, I. Here's my downfall for Rage and why. It, I can't just sit down and play through it again. All the fucking driving around in your stupid little dune buggy. Because it's a it's a great big open world, then, right? Then you probably, probably, I would suggest you m- might not want to play any of the Borderlands. Probably not. They're fun because you just sit there and it's multiplayer. So you just play with friends and just shoot shit. Well, that was the other thing. Rage had the single player campaign. And then the only thing it had for multiplayer was co-op missions. Yeah. Bioshock. And it only had. Two had multiplayer. But that one. The game. The story wasn't great. And the game. Multiplayer wise was very. uh, Lackluster. So that's why there was no multiplayer, nothing in the third one. The thing I found with Rage was, I mean, A, you're talking about the company that, I'm not going to say invented Deathmatch, but one of the reasons Doom lasted as long as it did was because of Deathmatch. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
and, and multiplayer and all that shit, right? Oh, that's right. That's why you're all on Rage. I forgot. Oh, yeah. It's an id software game. But to me, it really was. <laughs> it was the <laughs> that day right there that id be. software was done. Because in the in this world of everybody plays multiplayer, they didn't even really have it. You know, a lot of games now barely I... have the single player campaign. Rage was out what? Oh, six? Seven? Um, I think so. I feel like that was it right. Was, it was, I think it was closer to like nine. But re- regardless, anyway, I mean, it's. Uh, what else was I going to say about it, though? Um, my thing was, is I would, I would rather just have the thing I like about Doom, the thing I like about Devil May Cry, the thing I like about some simple games is, for lack of a better term, it's like, okay, you play your mission. We were both wrong. It's the 11. It's yeah, 11. yeah, I thought it was newer, but. Oh, I think, <coughs> oh okay. Never mind. I'm thinking of like Mag yeah. or something. But I mean, I don't know. I ultimately, I think just uh, rage was like, uh, "Hey, look what we can do in programming." Storyline, storyline is for pussies. You know what I mean? What's the only game that can do that? I don't know many games that can last without storyline that have good graphics that isn't technically. A first-person shooter. Yeah, like, I mean, I, I don't know. Rage was, uh, like I said, it was fun. I played through it a couple of times. Uh, I was playing through uh, the DLC. I was going to make videos of it, and then I'm like, oh, yeah, nobody gives a fuck about Rage. But... If you think about it, nobody really gives a fuck about anything right now. You know, it's true, though. The Call of Duty guys are going back to previous Call of Duties. Uh, but even then, they don't care. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, the big thing I'll right what, now all is st- shitting all over KD. They're- it's like, why do you even care about KD, bro? I know. It's weird because back, uh, back when I started playing, it was literally competition. It was literally like yeah. dog eat dog. You'd fight for – you. you'd literally fight. You'd fight, fight to be the best. Now it's like, I don't know. I don't really. I don't even know. So something and and, and shit and and shit talking has gone downhill. People aren't like, that good at shit talking anymore. No, I miss Josh's shit talking. Like His I, was creative. I, I took a guy and I reduced him to stuttering. I'm not saying I sounded too fucking smart during it, but it just it was easy to outsmart yeah. him yeah and that and then he told me his channel was modern war negro oh yeah. really it wasn't him <laughs> i didn't because so. i i mean i i hadn't i had heard of him but i hadn't watched any of his videos so i check out his channel and i'm like yeah it doesn't really seem like an all or nothing player <laughs> It doesn't matter. You can go on and go ahead and play whatever you want. Well, no, but you know what I mean? Like, it just... What this guy was doing, it just didn't really seem to fit in with that aesthetic. I don't know. Again, I think Dan introduced me to Modern War Negro. But Modern War Negro hasn't done anything in a no, long while. He really Last just kind of comes out with some videos every now and then. Like, nothing... Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I've only seen a handful of videos, so I can't really say anything. <laughs> it would be funny if that was him. Did we talk like, oh, about well. that Dan's not here? Oh, no, we didn't. <laughs> it's not. Well, in case if you guys made yeah, it. Yeah, Dan's not like, sitting know, there being minutes. all quiet. He's actually not here. No, nah, Dan had some he's issues. Got, he's got some real home. life shit. You know, that, that happens to all of us. And we Hopefully just, things go yeah, through we, well. We, and... we hope the best, you know, and all that good shit. And uh, at the same time, he kind of mentioned, he's like, I want you guys to do it. <laughs> when I got that DM, all I'm thinking is like, I want you to do it. I want you to do it. <laughs> well, you know, when he texted me that. Yeah, yeah, I want you to do it. I want you to do it. 
FYI. Yeah. Anyway. And I, I, I think that we're just going to try and put this out every fucking week. Even if, even if it ends up being one of us all by ourselves, just getting. Yeah. That, that, that was, that was the other thing is we're just like, it'd be two in the same month. Yeah. We'd be missing and almost like a back to back and just, no, like, I mean, if, if nah. we're going to commit to this show, then it, it's got to happen. Who knows who will be on it? No, I've been trying to get Seth. I actually tried to get Seth on before this thing, but uh, oh yeah, Seth would be good. I think he might. He he, he was he was getting ready for like you know, work, or need, he might have been to home. Get Josh to make a comeback and come on the show once. Oh, oh, and then try and then try yes. and keep it a one-hour show. <sighs> so did you hear? Speaking of them. Did you hear somebody else? Uh, I forget who is, is trying to do shots for subs. No, actually. I saw Josh tweet it out. Is it, is, is, is it Fig? No, it's not I Fig. I knew it. That guy it's steals everything. <laughs> what up, Bounders? I stole this intro. <laughs> <the boundaries. laughs> um, no, no, no. He... um. He's like, yeah, you got some big shoots. Like, it, 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 you got some big shoes to fill. Like, it wasn't, uh, that's ours. Why are you fucking doing that? Right? It was like, uh, it was like, hey. Well, no, they, they, they were done. The thing is, here's, they were done. They've been yep. done for like four months, and mm-hmm. they don't want to do it anymore. And they're like, you know what? You want yep. it? Fuck it. You're gonna see our. You're gonna see our pain. Yep. It was funny. Well, like, I honestly, beginning. I thought of. <laughs> Of taking that, it, it technically myself, wasn't a ten in the beginning, but <sighs> you know we torture I you on you purpose. Would. I mean, I'm already at two hundred whatever behind. Well, uh, behind who, me? No, like I would uh, hold on here. Oh no, I don't. I think you'd start from where you're at. I don't think you'd actually literally have to take two hundred shots well, because you already had twenty subscribers. <laughs> if that's what you're wondering. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean it would. Uh, if 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 you did, well, you know you'd how have you plenty of that... footage for your first person yeah, yeah, montage. Yeah. No, you know that. Um, uh, what was I fucking looking up here? You know how you can go to that list of your subscribers and not everybody's there. Yeah, because some people have it yeah. privated. That's where I would start, and I don't know how many people are listed, but it looks like a lot. I know. I, I look at mine. I looked at mine once and just like, holy crap. Holy crap. Oh! Yeah. So I go six doing a new toy again. And they're not here. Never anymore, are. Unfortunately. No. But uh, the name of the tour, mm-hmm. you'll love it. America. America. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Come on, that would be the best tour to bring to Canada, though. Oh, that would be hilarious. Yeah. Um, but uh, th- they're playing near me three days prior to my birthday. My friends already yelled at me. He's like, yo, we're going to Psycho Stick. I'm like, I want to go. And he's like, we're going there. We're going for free because I still work there because he works at where, it at where it's at. And he's like, and I'm going to try to get you on stage for your birthday because yeah. we know them. Video so or might, But it's not even my birthday. But that would be uh, – video didn't yeah. happen. Don't worry. <laughs> Probably be wearing that hat that I made. That's kind of to wear the last show. I I, I, I would be too, man. You put in all the effort, you don't get to go. It's bullshit. I put in all the effort. I planned it like a whole month ahead of time, and literally like, at the last minute, it's just like, dude, it's too yeah, far. Yeah, dude, too far. Meanwhile, like every show I go to, it's it's not that it was too far. It's just by the time we left, we probably would have made the last oh, song. Like, man. He's like it's. Um, he's like it's too far, and like we probably only make it to the end. I'm like, dude, we would have made it if we left. Yeah. When I told well, you I to. bought. Uh, it reminds me of a story. Like I bought tickets. Uh, Green Day was playing in Calgary, which is three hours from me, right? I still haven't seen Green Day. Before. I was <laughs> I was a little disappointed because they were old by the time I went and saw them. When did you? I'm assuming you saw them like around. Um. Oh, uh, maybe. I was it American, say American Idiot? idiot. Like, it, Paradise uh, Boulevard of Broken Dreams was the closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's American Idiot. Yeah, because this was a while ago yet, right? 
But the thing is, si. is I bought the tickets because my girlfriend wanted to go, and then we broke up, so I had these two tickets. And I talked, and I didn't have a car. <clears throat> and I talked to my buddy, and he's like, man, I'll go with you. How much are the tickets? I'm like, dude, you, you, I've already got tickets and hotel paid for. If you <clears throat> fucking... You drive, yeah. everything else yeah, is, exactly. is on me, technically. Okay. So it's a three-hour drive, and what I didn't know is... Um, well, he picked me up at uh, five thirty. You didn't know the concert was like at yeah. six. Yeah. Uh, My Chemical Romance opened for him, and to me, they're not a big deal. They got that one song I kind of don't mind. At that time, it was the "I'm Not Okay." Um, era. geez, the only thing I can really remember was that. What's the worst thing I could say? I'm trying to get that emo thing in my voice. Eh? That's yeah, yeah, Elena. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I was kind of excited about seeing them. We missed them. Uh, we missed like mm-hmm. the first half of Green Day. Um, and I think that. Oh, you missed all. I know which tour you're going to see now. The tour was the first hour. I think it's two hours of Green Day. Something like that. The first. The first hour was um, like a bunch yeah, of girls. Yeah, yeah. We we didn't really get. Uh, by the time I got there, they were just then, doing covers. Yeah, the second hour they were doing covers and music. Yeah. Yeah. When I got there, they were doing, and they were just doing the most random of covers. Um. I like King for a day though. I like yeah. Their, well, I mean, King it wasn't a, a bad show, and I think if I had saw the whole thing, I would have been excited about it. It would have been a better but, show. You know, by the time I saw it, they were they were kind of tired. I mean, that happens. You're on stage for too long. You get fucking tired. And if you weren't there the whole time, you're not tired yet. <laughs> and um, they didn't. I went there to see the Green Day that played 30 songs in less than an hour and broke everything. You know what I mean? Uh, they yeah, well, I mean, I, <laughs> let's face it. I went there to see the Dookie era, Green Day. That was not what I got. You went there to see the, you went there to go see Woodstock, Green yeah. Day. Yeah. That... And I mean, I... like I said, I mean, ultimately my uh, uh, disdain for the whole thing was basically not seeing the whole fucking show. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I. Well, the money was pretty much I mean, gone. Like, when I, like, yeah, when I got there, they started. Like, I got we got to Calgary and got to the show at like nine o'clock, and they were fucking winding down and pretty much done. Everyone else is like, "Woo!" and you're like, "What?" Well, that, it was cool. They brought a kid up on stage, um, and you know, to play guitar for I forget what song now. They've been doing that a lot lately. But, where they, they bring up yeah, three well, people. Well, they brought them up. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was that was what they did. Yeah, that's right. Never mind. They brought up everything. And the one kid playing guitar, yeah. he didn't uh, he didn't leave well, right they, away. He was just kind of, oh, I don't know what to do. And and uh, Billy there, he's just like, ah, fuck it. You keep that guitar. You're going to get laid tonight. <laughs> right? Um, another one I saw where they brought somebody on stage was uh, Tool. And uh, by the time I went and saw Tool, I had no idea what they were playing. See, Tool is a band I enjoy listening to. They were, like, everything was just psychedelic imagery. Here. Had... Yeah, here and there. It's much like System. When I saw System Live. I never Live. got to see System Live, and that pisses me off. I saw them probably one of the last uh, times The one live song that Tool played was... that I recognized was they played Stink Fist. And what it was was it was like mm. a like a, a make a wish cancer patient. He got to get mm-hmm. up there and play Stink Fist with Tool. And and fucking nailed it. You know what I mean? Uh, then he's been yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So I mean, like it's cool when when I think it's cool when bands do that. Like you know, like I mean. You know, yeah, you can't make everybody's dream come true, but you can, you know, you can bring a guy up on stage. You can bring a couple up on stage. You know, you can, you can let somebody have that moment. You know what I mean? I was, I was on stage twice with Stick. That's cool. 
the first time was uh, the first time I ever saw them. We did the whole hokey fucking. <laughs> I hokey. love that. I love that. <laughs> Whenever I have that on my headphones at work, I run up to somebody and jam it in their ear. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. <laughs> the hokey fucking pokey. And the second time. <laughs> Second time was because I survived with some bro. <laughs> Although I, I got to tell that you, was man, crazy. Like I, I sit there and I'm like, you know, I, I, mean, I haven't been to co- many shows. And then I'm like, no, I've seen some cool ones. I, I like Ozzy was cool to see. Uh, I technically never saw Ozzy. I heard Ozzy because I saw him at Ozfest and we were just playing the second stage yep. where I'm at. We, we had two stages. We were already filing for the first stage because... That was the first time I was gonna see Sevenfold on a big, yeah. big stage, and they were like the second band playing. So I kind of went over. <laughs> I'm like, damn, yeah. I can hear Ozzy. Well, no, damn we it. <laughs> and when well, when we went to see him, he actually like it was probably one of the longest sets ever. They said, um, and he was well, he um, what was it? Sharon just beat cancer or didn't have cancer or or something cancer related. And he came out, and, like, they literally played, like, normally you go home and it's like, oh, yeah, man, that show right? was so cool. What if they played this song? There was no song they that I went everything? home and said, geez, it would have been cool if he played that song. You know what I mean? Yeah, I was disappointed when I saw Maiden yeah. a few years ago. Because they only had like an hour and a half long set, and all their songs yeah. were like, ten minutes long. Yeah, so yeah, they were on stage for so ninety like, minutes. They played four songs. <laughs> um, they played "Fear of the Dark." They played "Hallow Be Thy Name." Another good band live is actually uh, "Mindless Self Indulgence." I've only heard them through. Oh, TV. dude! Like we we went up to Calgary to see them play, and their opening bands fucking sucked so bad, but whatever right they came on yeah. and like i didn't realize how tall the lead singer is but like he's oh, fuck he's probably like six foot six six three plus he's wearing that hair making him like over seven feet tall he's he remind me of like the pumpkin king jack skeleton because he's just Ooh. he's narrow and skinny and He's all over the place, and he is, like, hyper as fuck. And, and they played a lot of fucking songs, too. That was a good one. It's rare to hear a band play a lot of their songs. Well, yeah, normally, like, you know, it's like, okay, you go in. Well, Mindless Self-Indulgence was another one where I'm just sitting there going, there, there was no song that I really wanted to hear that they didn't play. They even did Lights Out, which... <coughs> I thought it would be a hard one to do live because there's a lot of fast singing in there and no room for breath. And yeah, how do I put it? I'm not going to say he fucking nailed it. But he got a but good portion of it. He fucking, he went out there. He gave it his all. He was turning red and he fucking, he put on a performance that was worth watching of, because if, if I remember that correctly, that song he had to, he it was done in parts. Well, in, in order to do it properly, you would have to, right? Because it was just like, well, there, there's no, um, there's no break room. to catch your breath. You have to be quick. Yeah, it's like a exactly. Quick... And if you, um, I don't know how much. <laughs> I don't know how much you know about breathing. <laughs> no, when you're singing, you're supposed to breathe, you know, <laughs> with the bottom of your chest, get the air into your diaphragm, even if you're just taking a quick breath. Right? And yeah. you don't always do it right. And if you fuck up your breath on that song just once, you're, you're, you're fucked. You're out of breath, right? Yeah. And uh, plus he was running around and jumping around and like doing fucking cartwheels like a fucking madman. So, I mean, now it was a good show. That's for sure. We I played with shows. Nickelback when I they still lived here. In a while. We played with you Nickelback what? when they still lived around here. You yeah. played? Um, wow. Now, keep in mind, they weren't famous yet. If I remember correctly, is, Nickelback isn't, yet. was it Kroger? Was it Kroger? No, America? they're all from... 
shit ass little towns in Alberta here. The Kroger brothers oh, wow. are from Hannah, and the other two were from Brooks. Brooks is an hour from here. Uh, we played a show at the Boy Scout Hall, and I remember we were making fun of them because they were. It was during a big kick of like every band sounded like Pearl Jam. I was during their head. Like well, era. it was before they were even called Nickelback, right? It was before they Ooh. moved to Vancouver. It was before they were famous. In fact, we barely remember it. The only thing that stuck out, and I can't even remember the term right now, was uh, my buddy Scott. Uh, he was looking them up, and he found one of their old band names. And it's like, dude, didn't we play with them? And then all, and then all of a sudden, it all came together, and it's like, yeah, I remember them. They sucked. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta look up Nickelback's old uh, names. I think now. it was something about a wolf. I can't remember, but like it was. I mean, now my mind could be playing tricks on me. It might not have been them, but the time frame is right. You know what I mean? If they came through Medicine Hat, we pretty much played every Medicine Hat show at the time, right? Because yeah, you know when you, when you've only got three bands in town that play shows. Band was formed in the early nineties called the village idiots was that it oh fuck now i gotta look it up because i think this when did they move to vancouver late 90s right because i think this was mid 90s we would have played with them i think it was it said the band was formed in early 90s around 94 five or so yeah that that would have been right around the time that we were doing shows here so if they if they came through here you know around 95 they used to perform covers of led zeppelin and metallica oh yeah that would have been why we would have shit on them too we hated cover bands <laughs> we did <laughs> we're like fuck you we wrote songs they're like your songs suck it's like yeah well at least we wrote them anyway we have hit the one hour mark ish something like, something that. like that we're we're a little over we're a little over yeah. a little under i don't know i don't remember exactly when we started uh we're at like an hour and like three minutes Meh. Nah. <laughs> and i think you said something about you were gonna play all or nothing with me I still was in Modern Warfare 3. I'll play all that. All right. Well, we got to go play some all or nothing. So, uh, you know, we'll we'll send our best wishes out to Dan and hope everything works out good there. Um, hold on. Hold on. Uh, while you're holding on, I'll say Whoa. whoever we've mentioned, we've mentioned them out of love, so go look them up for a fucking reason. Um, should we promo our own channels? Nah, fuck that. <laughs> I think there's links <laughs> in the description and shit. I, I think I think I promoted you enough yeah. this week. Yeah, go check out Papa's you channel. And, he, you, he makes you, you he gets good Dan. views off of making videos of other people. <laughs> I sure. I guess. <laughs> you know what's funny is you're trying to get everybody to ignore the fact that you do fucking uh graphic design. Now you've edited together a couple videos and everybody be like, dude, can you do me a promo? <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, that wasn't, I wasn't going to originally make it live, but I was laughing so much that was supposed, I was sending that to fig to promote yeah. you without you. You, you made it over 30 seconds though. His standards are strict. Well, I asked him just like, you mind if I make it 45, like a little over yeah. 30? Cause it wasn't. Like as I rewatch it, I'm like, maybe I should have ended. It. I shouldn't have ended it with that's all, folks, because it feels like it could end with. No, I, I liked it because I liked those old intro outros I did. It wasn't even the old ones. It was just from like yeah, a few months ago. That's what I said. I would have grabbed the old old ones, but oh, dude, I hear it. Anyway, anyway, we're we're gonna get running here. We're gonna fucking yeah, fuck you guys. We're done. Stuff. <laughs> fuck it, man. <laughs> And hopefully Dan will be here. Way, hopefully Dan will be here next week. <laughs> and hopefully Dan will be hopefully, here next week. For, we'll we don't even know. We don't even know. If what, not, we will still bring you something next week. And we don't even know what we're gonna call 
next week since we now we need a new movie set. Yeah, we'll figure something out. Swine Night Rises. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! No, we 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 would have to go like the Swine Begins. We'd swine have to start begins. from the beginning. Well, it is a reboot, right? Ah, fuck yeah. it. Yeah, that's all, folks.